Okay, so thanks for tuning in for part four of the Aero Tetris 2.8 meter SR71 Blackbird build. Uh, part four already, and I uh, feel like I've made quite a lot of progress, but we need to speed up, need to speed up, because um, I want to get this together and I want to start thinking about the electronics and the power system and the landing gear, you know, those three main things. So what have I done since the last video? So I've started on the the back section of the other side of the fuselage or started on it's virtually complete which is good so that is sections 55 to 35 so about 20 sections uh, have gone into making that again on a 10 mil carbon tube of 2 mil thickness so pretty rigid but not rigid enough not strong enough for flight I don't think, some other reinforcement needed. So been thinking about that. And Jason, who's on the Essential RC team, legend, actually getting married today. So congratulations, mate. I have to say that. Um, getting married to the lovely Daisy, going to a party later on. Um, he suggested putting a wider carbon tube up each side of the fuselage here and then flooding the outside of that with some builder's foam. The builder's foam if you come across it in a, in a can. Um, very strong stuff after it's set, but very light. And you even have to drill through it, really, if you want to do anything with it. So uh, that might be the, uh, what we go with to add a bit of rigidity and strength and then the carbon tube so we can pass cables up it if we need to have electronics and servos at the back of the model. So that's kind of the plan there. Um, so uh, before continuing on, uh, maybe you'd like to subscribe hit that button now to subscribe and to get notifications of videos that we upload in the future, click that bell icon so that you get those notifications by email or your preferred method of update. Uh, some shout outs as well, getting loads of support uh, for this. I'm getting more views and comments on these build log videos than I thought I would do. And thanks very much for viewing and for your support. So calling out a few uh, comments here. Josip Vrandic, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Joss. Um, but he says, and he's, he's a long time subscriber, regularly leaves comments. And he says, at first the project seemed easy to build, but nothing is ever as it looks. The devil is in the details. Exactly right, Joss, but we'll push on, we'll get it done. Riley Howe Mills says, good to see an update, can't wait for the next one. You and me both, mate. Zola Tanafa. And to think that I told you in my comment in the first episode, don't throw away the excess. If only I'd listened to you, Zola. I should have listened to you. I will not make the mistake again. I don't repeat mistakes generally. Uh, how about Charles Wall? Charles, one of our my most enthusiastic subscribers, leaves a comment on virtually every video that I publish. He's a lovely, lovely guy. Maybe we'll meet him one day. But he says, Mr. Dom, quite a task but you're coming along great and not letting stress shut you down no mate I'm not gonna let this stress get to me it's a healthy type of stress and there is such a thing it's it's good to have a healthy level of stress in your life but otherwise lots and lots of comments uh, especially from my friend and fellow youtuber RC Helijet who uh, who was right on the last video I don't I think he was a little dis bit disappointed to not see any build action. I was basically complaining and moaning that I'd lost a couple of parts and I was genuinely a little bit upset about that but um, I found a couple actually so I'm, I'm not in such a bad place although you've seen on one side of the the other side of the fuselage I'm missing a bit there. It might turn up but if it doesn't it's not going to be very hard to fill that in with a bit of scrap foam so it's not a complete disaster. But anyway Mr RC Helijet I'm back on it. So we're, uh, we're going to show some build action now. I'm going to use a bit of, um, you know, a bit of sped up video to, to show you how things are going. Uh, and uh, we'll try and crack on as quickly as possible. So are you ready? Three, two, one.
Okay, so there we go, it's a fuselage, one piece to go, and it's part 34. So, uh, repeating what I've done almost what seems like 200 times before, take my activator pen. And generously apply that. And then, foam safe Sino on here. And again, the emphasis is on getting the outer, the top outer line surface lined up. So, I've got this more or less worked out now. I have to hold it. Now, Igor, in his Aero Tetris instructions, recommends using a PU or, or PVA glue and uh, which is very slow curing obviously very slow curing but then you have to he suggests you use pins um so could you imagine on an 800 piece model like this uh how many how much how many pins i would need <laughs> and how long i would have to wait for the glue to go off it's unrealistic so that's why i'm using um sino foam safe Sino because it just makes the whole process a lot lot faster so you've got to hold it for a, a few seconds and then just make sure the, uh, the top edge is glued so that is about it that is the middle section done so if I just put my glue to one side my activator and you can see here, I have finished the two sides for the nose. Looking vaguely SR71-ish now, isn't it? Um, and the two middle sections. I turn that one around. And I've got those. And I've got my rear sections up, up here. So. There's a few um, gaps, gaps to fill in, uh, but I'm I'm pretty happy with that, and uh, I think that's it for this fourth part of the of the build. Quite a bit of work done there, um, as you can see. I'm not going to glue those halves together yet. I'm going to start on the wings next. That'll be the the next video and see how I progress with that. And then I want to, again, I'll probably not even glue those together. I want to try and figure out where I'm gonna put the servos after I've put those together. And then start on the engine nacelles and see if we can dry fit everything together. And then uh, think about, obviously, transport is gonna be a major, major thing with this. 2.8 meters long, obviously. So I've got the, the nose sections um, separately. My intention is to be able to slide those onto the the rear section uh, sections of the fuselage. The wings, 1.5 metre wingspan, so that shouldn't be much of a problem. But I'll, I'll probably make those slide onto the onto the fuselage somehow. But we'll figure that out as we go along. I think that's part of the fun. So thanks for watching this one. Really appreciate it. As I said, please subscribe if you want to follow along and click the bell to get uh, notifications. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time.